Hello Aquarius, this is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome you guys. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. And I guess we are trying to get started here. Cards are flipping over. <clears throat> if you're interested in a personal, um, the web address is down below. Please check it out. And let's see what your issue was with this relationship, my Aquarius friends. That will want to come. There was not enough harmony. There was not enough balance in this relationship for you. I feel like it was um, quite rocky. Like you were fighting to, you know, be happy here. Okay. Let's see what their issue was. Hmm. I feel like this person um, felt like you were very defensive. Like you didn't fight for the relationship even. You blocked them out a lot. Maybe um, maybe you guys, you know, you wouldn't talk for a while or something like that if they did something that, you know, ticked you off. Okay. Let's see what is actually keeping you from them. Yeah, I, I don't think that this person is calm enough for you. I don't think that they are... Um, you know, as stable, as grounded as you would like for them to be. Maybe they're a little too fiery even. Um, you know, maybe they're fiery with their tongue. I don't know. But it seems like, you know, they're not somebody that you feel like is, is ready for commitment. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you they feel like you don't love them either they feel like you don't love them or they feel like you know you're blocking this love you're blocking um their love from for my gosh you're blocking the love that they're trying to give you okay there also, you probably feel like this person is very mothering. Um, maybe they are smothering to you even here, okay? Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. Hmm. I think you want more... Um, I think you want more passion. You want something... You want to start something new. Something that you're actually interested in could be this person could definitely be this person um maybe you want to start over again maybe you want to start fresh and new maybe you want them to be less mothering and you know have more of a spark about them you know be a boyfriend or a girlfriend versus a mother or a father figure you know because that's not cute okay so yeah Hmm. But you see that this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Wands is like centered around this Queen of Pentacles. So there's something very significant about this person. Very significant. This is water and fire here. Okay? It's like, you know, you just feel like you want this person to maybe calm down a little bit. Because you're attracted to them, you care for them, but um, I think maybe they maybe they overwhelm you sometimes. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Hmm. I think they're waiting on you. They're hopeful that you guys can pick up and start anew. Um, th I think they're waiting on you. They're waiting to see what your next move is, okay? I feel some of them may have invested in um, in something financially and is waiting for a payoff here. Something that they started. Something that they love to do. Okay. Let's see what your influence is here. Hmm. Some of you may be, um, you know, 
there's something significant about this person for sure but some of you may not be ready to settle down quite yet um, may still want to date a little bit see what else is out there even um, before you actually give somebody this this one this person give somebody this start although you see success with them as well um, but I think a lot of you are probably just not ready to really just you know say hey you know make this thing final that you're locked in with this person in a commitment in a commitment dang it let's see <clears throat> what their influence is they're confused right now they're thinking about walking away um, because I think that they have the sense that you are wanting to not be in a committed relationship currently they feel like you are blocking them but I tell you what, guys, this is something very substantial, very significant, very important connection and one in which, you know, both of you could could learn something life changing from each other. I feel because we have seven, seven, seven surrounding this ace of cups. OK, this is very a very divinely guided and protected union connection here and with the temperance card this is this is significant okay very significant hmm but this person feels like you're blocking you're blocking this love you're not accepting it for what it is they know what it is this person knows what what you guys have they know how strong it is guys I don't think you you're sure about it but you're not sure that you're ready to lock into it yet like truly invest in it yet okay let's see what's coming in for you guys hmm king of cups I think you will um, settle in to this commitment I think you will become emotionally stable here you will gain your harmony that you're looking for but I think you will be successful in starting anew with this individual and I think that's what's going to bring you success that's what's going to clear up this confusion let's see what's coming in for them hmm they are like I said they are wanting to walk away here they're getting tired of waiting they're getting tired of waiting for you to, you know, offer them love, accept their love here. So there is, um, hmm, there is a missed opportunity awaiting. Okay, let's see what the blockage is here. Yeah. Again, like I said, it's like um, this person is like a little too mothering, I feel. Not enough excitement, not enough. Um, maybe they're coming across um, a little too stern or like attached. And you need for them to be a little, little less attached and a little more free. Um, a little more exciting, a little less like your mother or your father here. Hmm. Probably a little less flip at the mouth, <laughs> even, um, you know, that, you know, cause you can be fiery without being flip at the mouth, but you know, it kind of, kind of goes hand in hand sometimes, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. Let's see. Cause everybody's not perfect. Let's see what their blockage is. I feel it's you wanting to be single. It's you feeling like you're happy without them. But, um, and that's the illusion that they have of you is that you're happy without them. They don't see that you recognize this love that, you know, you guys share. They don't see that you see that. 
But I see that you see that. Okay? But you're just really not um, all in just yet is a thing. Okay? They think that you're flirting. They think that, you know, you possibly have options, um, which I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys are probably wanting to keep your options open because you're not locked in yet. Okay? Let's see <clears throat> what that advice is for you guys. Hmm. Maybe you should be more like them. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is a committed, this is a committed person here. Okay. I think your advice is to decide if you want this person or if you want to date. If you want commitment with this person or you want to date. Okay, I think that's what the advice is here. Let's see. What is their advice? I think they need to figure out or find out what is actually true. What's real and what's not for them. Um, because they are confused here about what it is that you're actually doing. But this person's also needing to like find their own happy their own happiness outside of you um and i think their focus is a little too much on you and that's why they're coming across here as very mothering or you know like a parent instead of a mate so but they need to find that and they need to speak um speak their truth about what makes them happy and what makes them you know not happy here what is the outcome i think you'll find the strength and I think this person will be more passionate. I really do. I think you'll find the strength. You'll you'll come to the conclusion of what it is that you really want, which I see is commitment here with this King of Pentacles. And I feel like this person um, will decide that, you know, they will decide what makes them happy. And I feel like what makes them happy is you. Because this is a choice, but this is also the lovers is a lovers all day long. Okay, this person, this is passion. This is passion. And I think they will be passionate enough to find out what is the truth and what makes them happy and also what makes you happy. Okay, and you want that spark, bottom line. Okay, little less possessiveness. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll speak with you soon.